nyingine huko Kisumu. I'm going to tell you about mm. that another day. But right now we've got the girl herself, Mini Karaoke and Akasisa when he was saying, "Oh my god, my favorite star." Hi, what's good, Jabeti? <laughs> I'm saying, "Mini, may God bless your hustle." But Jabeti, we're giving you a chance to walk away with 3000 bob courtesy of Showmax. And the big question is, can you name some of her hustles? This is that simple. We're going to open the phone line in a bit. Yeah. Oh, Miss Kadema, Miss Emma, she comes from Huruma. She like comes any, from Huruma. She, I think she left the Huruma there <laughs> in Huruma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love that. Sasa acha nikulize first of all apart from the serious oh you know how I love you. So watch to Ruby kwa streets. Tuacha na Susan Kaitani. Yeah. Where? Okay. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Bonu kona shida na Susan Kaitanyi. First of all, why would you call someone a flamingo? Um like who really? Let like, me explain that. Also flamingos are beautiful guys. They are very beautiful. Um Was it a compliment? Let me tell you something. No, it was no. not a compliment. It's a diss. This is how we do it. Like I've said, I grew up in the hood. Mm-hmm. And in the hood, this is how we diss each other mm-hmm. by how you're dressed. Like Obina, you speak in your Nigerian accent. Yeah. To get, get kwa you see, or maybe when you remember shades in a small ule chalio madigaga. Mm. So the minute I saw Susan that day, I just saw feathers. And the bird that came to my mind was a flamingo. So you guys are just digging so deep into this. Ah, it was just surface, surface this. Surface this. It made the, what came to my mind was a flamingo. Mm. Do you think what you have with Susan Kaitan is personal? Because kwa hiyo kipindi, ni nini muna vurugana tu? No, no, no. If you, if you watch um, season, episode 2, uh, 3, mm. she's the one who comes for me. Mm. You know, so for me, naruti, narudisha tu this. You know, if you bully me, I put you in your Do place. Do you think you guys could ever, you know, just sit down? Because, I mean, you're supposed to, at the end of 12 episodes, have a reunion, right? I, yeah. Do you think you guys would ever, or maybe during the 12, you know, by the way, I can't even preempt. I don't know what's in the next episode. Mm. So maybe you guys, you know, kiss and yeah. make up like, ha ha, we're like, But like, do you guys think that you could sit on the same table and actually just hash it out? I think what I'll say is if you can't beat them, join them. Mm. Who's joining who? You, you tell me. Say something nice about Susan Kaitani. One thing. She's a mother. That's nice. Wow. Mm. All right. You insist. Yeah. There's a lot of. I've I've watched a lot of your interviews. I've watched you speak on camera a lot. When you're not acting, when you're being real, and you really insist on being, you know, real. Looking at Real Housewives of, Nai- of Nairobi, for example, it's a reality show. The real truth is, people aren't real, real. Mm. So why is being real important to you? I think. Um, I am an actor. Mm-hmm. I read scripts. Mm-hmm. I'm always on set. I'm embodying different characters all the time. Mm-hmm. This is a show where Quambox, I get to be me. Mm-hmm. So I feel so free. There's so much freedom that came with this show. Mm-hmm. I get to, to be with my husband. You know, be real with him. We have mm-hmm. a very organic marriage. Mm-hmm. And I say to Lisa, we don't want to fake it. We don't show people that it's so perfect. It's not. Mm-hmm. I get to be with my kids. Mm-hmm. You know, I get to show people another side of Mine they don't see. Mm-hmm. So for me, it was let me do this so people can know the real Mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you ever read something in a blog that you're like, ah, what's what's the most shocking thing you've read about yourself in the blog that you're like, that ain't me? That I have Ambabas. I've been married for eight years. See, we are the Mbabas work. See, Mbabas are young talk. I don't know Mbabas. I like them young talk. Okay. Watch out. And that. 3,000. Mm-hmm. That one will come back. We're going to have a quick fire. That's a little moto, 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 moto. Hey, hold up. I want to talk to her about single Kiasi as well. You know. Oh! Uh, No, actually, no. But then for real, your role is a single case. I mean, I'm a fan. Muliza tu kitu nataka kumuliza. Nimejua kitu nataka kumuliza. Okay, just see what you watch, but stop ah, giving yeah. pressure. Ndio yo. How do you prepare for this, uh, you know, those roles that that are a bit steamy because you've been married for eight years. Yeah. How, do, how do you prepare for such a role? They're like, now we are going to be very juicy with each other. Um, first of all, if I'm doing a sex role, mm-hmm. I'm married. So I, I kind of want to respect my husband mm-hmm. also. I mean, we, we're living in an African setup and the man is very African. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so if there's a sexy scene um, the next day on set, maybe I just get it steamy in the house with my husband. And you know, I carry the energy on set. But oh. I usually have a stunt double oh. for maybe nude scenes. So oh. uh, the nudity you see, that's mm-hmm. not me. That's a model. That's my stunt double. Oh, oh really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Hey. You're on Morning Kiss. I can see some Shakira and Black Eyed Peas coming up. And remember, you can watch all this action live on Showmax. Hey, what's up, everybody? We are Salty. Salty. Having you good vibes all the way to 10 a.m. And it doesn't end here. Remember, if you're on Kiss FM, we're Kenya's number one hit music station, which means you will get more great hits throughout the day. Right now, we're getting into a conversation with 
Mini Karaoke. Welcome to Morning Kiss. Thank you so much for having me. Nice meeting you in person, Obina. Convox. Nice to meet you too, Mine. You know, Mine, actually, I thought you'd just be walking in here like, you guys, what's good? <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you are weirdly quiet. Like, you, we, you are not prepped like this. That's my aura, by the way. Mm. I'm just a very, you know, gentle soul. Oh! You know, and people that's are what you get. People people are are different the show. Uh, for the show. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you put me on that show, then I'll that's be something it. else, mm. right? Ah. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. Um, we started off by introducing you as uh, Mine um, Shiko Wamawe, right? Where did you get that from? You know me. That Nathan. is so me. <laughs> that's what they call me, Pale. You know, Jua, Jua Kali. Uh-huh. Shiko Wamawe. And you said that uh, Dad is going to do construction. Yes. So. I, are you a daddy's girl or mom's girl? Um, my late dad, who passed on 10 years ago, was a contractor. He actually was one of the contractors with his partners who built Hillcrest School. Mm-hmm. And I think, like I've said on the show, it's just in my DNA. Mm. Mom also does that. Right now, she's in a Dorage. That's what she does. She mm. supplies construction aggregates. Mm. So I feel like it's something that's just in my DNA. Mm. And yeah, that's what I do. I love um, seeing buildings coming up. I've been involved in so many buildings you see in Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Yes. And yeah, that's just me. I feel like... Has um, you been constructing Nairobi? I've not been constructing Nairobi. I have been supplying construction aggregates for some buildings in Nairobi. Mm. I will not name them here, mm-hmm. but that's what I've done. Damn. I started at a very young age. Mm-hmm. Nikon experience yeah, mama for 50 years. Um, I started at, um, at the age of 23. Mm-hmm. I left high school, went to college, and um, I had a passion for acting. So mm-hmm. I made a living out of acting when I was very young. Mm-hmm. Um, I was in a show, Tabasamu, mm-hmm. on Citizen, and the show was cancelled. Yeah. And I just swore to myself I will never ever be employed. Mm-hmm. I went into construction b- because I had no option. Mm. Right? Yeah. So I started at a very young age and I'm 32 years right now. So I have 10 years of experience. Wow. And uh, speaking of acting, umekua kwa tabasamu, ma empress, single kiasi. What have been the highlights of your acting career? Um, my, the highlights have just been working with amazing production houses, um, Philit Production, Ken TV, and now um, Insignia. And also just how the transitions of us telling our Kenyan stories. Mm. Single KRC is a show that tells of the Nairobi dating scene. Mm. And that's how it is. And it's just that transition in us t- owning our stories. Yeah. Immediately writers start owning Kenyan stories. I think we'll just make a map in the global acting industry. All right. First, let me just update Ovina. You need to go watch Single Kiasi. Actually, it's on show. Who tells you that I've not watched Single Kiasi? Have you Kiasi? seen her on Single Kiasi? No, who tells you no, that? No, let I me ask him a question. What's my character <laughs> name on Single Kiasi, Obina? Ah, beg. Stop putting me on the spot. What's like my that. character name? You are fighting name? with her, not with you now. <laughs> Actually, there's a part. There's a family affair. I forgot her name. But there's a part where, um, you know, I was I was seeing you with uh, Ian Bogua. And uh, shout out to Ian Bogua. Really great actor. Amazing very great actor, friend. yes. And uh, you could see him mezeng saliva as he... <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, you need to you see act. Ah, no, come on, really guys. He's, he's, he's just a good actor. Yeah, he's very good. <laughs> but very how, believable. How do you get into that role? Because that role, I mean, I don't want to use the word that will shut us down as communications authority. I'm going to say cutisan, right? Mm. Nini, where did you learn it from? Like, is it, do you just switch on a role? Because I remember we were talking with, um, I can't remember which actress and, and, you know, some of the roles that sometimes you're given, you know, uh, actually we're talking to, um, what's her name? Uh, I forget. And she was telling us that sometimes morphing into the role can be difficult. No, yeah. Sana. Sana, the role she played in uh, Kina. Mm. But then she said that Carol is inside her somewhere inside her. That's true. Yeah. Do you, do, is that Carol somewhere inside you? You're a seductress. Um, am I a slave queen? Am I a diva? Yes, I am. You know, mm. But um, I think, honestly, I've been typecast as this diva (laughs) and slay queen in all the characters I've played. Mm -hmm. If you watch my Empress, Mm -hmm. I'm also a slay queen, Crystal. Mm -hmm. And also in single Kiasi, I'm I'm doing that. So I don't think it's so hard for me because, I mean, it's a typecast. I I have been playing roles of a slay queen, Mm -hmm. of, um, like you say, a diva. So I don't feel like it's hard for me to really roll into or morph into these roles mm-hmm. it's something that i've been doing for a while actually I, I was telling another producer please give me something something else an mm. authoritative role mm. a teacher a mother because i am that also in real life speaking so of yeah mother, speaking of mother business woman mm. shiko wamawe yeah wife wife real house of, of nairobi, of nairobi. How, do you, you how, do you balance? how do you balance all this box what is balance obina what is balance there's nothing called balance mm. 
there is nothing called balance i'm actually really fighting with that that's something that i'm is difficult for me to do mm-hmm. what i do is just i realize that balance is not giving it 50 50 balance is actually giving it 100 100 mm-hmm. and that's what i'm trying to do i have not found it yet mm-hmm. i'm still struggling okay and i'll be vulnerable enough to say it's a struggle i mean it's it's good to see you vulnerable uh Mine, because a lot of people i think out here in the streets Wanasema, if you're going to... In fact, if you're going on to a verbal fight... I remember we asked this to Akina Kerji, the dawn. If you're going to go into a verbal fight between Kerji, Calligraph, and people chose Kerji. And I feel like if people... You know, if we ask people, if you were going into a verbal fight with somebody, who would you want in your corner? I think they'll just say, give me my name. See, the thing is, I was brought up in the hood. Um, and I'm, I'm not sure about this. I was brought up in Islando, Huruma, Karyobangi. And, you know, come back to the mm. domo. This is how we are. You know, mm. in the hood, you have to be, you know, you have to be straight up. Because mm. if you're not, you'll be caught slacking. When you bangu? Yeah, I mean, you demo kario bangi huruma. Iyote ni mejiosha na mzea miyosha kidogo. Kabisa. Kabisa. Akuna. Let me tell you. Obina, let me not tell you. Let me tell you something. What was kudanganye? There is no one on that show, the Real Housewives of Nairobi. Akuna mm. mtuali zaliwa na silver spoon in their mouth. Ah, ah, Susan Kaitani alizaliwa kwa nini. Goja, nilipa. goja, goja. We Christopher coming... Sen alizaliwa kwa Safari Rally. We are coming back. Alizaliwa na Safari Rally. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we're coming back with Mine Karaoke and we're going to be talking about Real Housewives of Nairobi. But in the meantime, we're giving you a chance to walk away with 3,000 bob. Can you name two hustles that Mine does? And if you can name even more, even better. They're not just some sick. It's the day will be coming through with the mid morning kiss. And then after that, from 3 to 7, you got some laughs with Chito and Sid. So, Kiss FM is Kenya's number one hit music station. You shouldn't go anywhere. That's what's up. In the meantime, we got Mine in the building. Mm. And she's come out guns blazing. Me, I'm just worried about uh, how she's going to leave the studio uh-huh. <laughs> because she's not been saying very nice things <laughs> about the fellow <laughs> housewives. You, do you get backlash from like some of the stuff that you said on the ha- in the house? Do you do you have some fans maybe of like Lisa Christopherson? And they're like, why don't you give Lisa a chance to speak? Yeah, recently I've just been be getting a lot of backlash because um, they're saying I'm body shaming Susan Kaitani because I call her Flamingo. But guys, look, I'm also skinny. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> like I said, it was i just saw feathers and i just thought of a flamingo so if you had to call yourself an animal which animal would you call yourself a flamingo why not you yeah you're also a flamingo am i not skinny that's what you guys want to say okay question there's a couple of people that say uh, you people are living fake lives kwa yoki pindi that mm-hmm. first of all people are saying uh you're not housewives some of you mm-hmm. that are in that kipindi and <laughs> some of you are very fake some of you are very annoying so let's mm-hmm. start with very simple questions who is the most annoying housewife that you've been susan katani okay who is most fake like ule mwenye maisha yake nyewe ni fake unaona huyu atatoka kwa pesa um i don't think there's anyone who's fake on the show we're all real all real na kuna pesa trust me so you what mmetoka kwa pesa hatotoka kwa pesa but maybe kama mimi sitotoka kwa pesa ubina but niko na pesa i've mm-hmm. made money and actually i watched your youtube uh, channel um i, beca- I recently be, you know subscribed cuz niliona nyumba yako nikasema i'm you. waiting for the bedroom <laughs> coming Wait part three is the bedroom it's coming yeah and i don't know why you can ask about money severa lisa makona kitanda one yeah unajua vera kona kitanda 1 million wewe wewe kitanda yako ni pesa ngapi ati vera kona kitanda 1 million vera alisema kona kitanda 1 yes and she has the receipts ah wala anataka kuona hizo receipts <laughs> yeah, for real lako like, nayo wewe kitanda yako inafika 1 million ah wala iwezi siwezi tumia 1 million kwa kitanda opina mm. yeah i can't I'd rather so, use that money on something else ntanunua <laughs> 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 okay sour quick fire now i'm gonna be asking you this now it becomes interesting but so you normally do uh smash marry uh pass but we'll not do that with you because you're married and because your husband is uh <laughs> is a friend of mine so this is what i'm gonna do with you the housewives that you're working with mm. so describe them first of all who do you think is a liar susan kaitani ah. okay who do you <laughs> think is is not learned? Ule mwenye sasa ni dogo mothi, ule ni maembe, ule hata masomo kidogo. Hakuna mtu wa yuko learned. Pale, what wa mesoma? No, no, no. What wa mesoma? Kwa hiyo kipindi what wa mesoma? Shade, Shade imeenda group of school. Aya, who do you think cannot make a good wife? Susan Kaitani. Ah. Bruv, like, I feel like even when you're asleep, you're just saying Susan Kaitani. No, I think she sleeps and just dreams of mine all right clearly there's going to be a season two and uh, it, the drama continues um if there's one thing you want people to know about you that 
that hasn't been said out there that if you feel is because you're you're all, all about realness yeah what what would you like people to know i just want people to know that you we are kenyan mm. and please let's be proud to be kenyan swahili is a very beautiful language it's very romantic mm. why don't you just be kenyan and be proud of it look at how south africans are proud to actually speak zulu mm. even on an international platform why would you call swahili shady I'd alter it and say, please be Kenyan, be you, because you are beautiful. And again, Combox, mm. Obina, own your story. I'm from the hood and I own that. I've built from the ground up and I'm here. So own your story. All right. Guys, you've been listening to Mine Karaoke, aka Mine. You can catch her on Showmax, uh, either on Real Houses of Nairobi or Single Kiasi.